New national data shows a significant increase in injuries and deaths due to fireworks during the pandemic. In today's Family First, we're taking a look at what to do to help keep your family safe this summer. Leah Lando has more. Michael Spencer wants everyone to know just how dangerous fireworks can be. Leave the fireworks to the professionals. He was injured by a firework at a backyard barbecue back in 2015. I lost uh, my pinky, I lost my ring finger, the tip of my middle finger, and my thumb from my left hand. On my right hand, I lost my index finger and the tip of my middle finger and damaged my thumb. Data shows a spike in injuries and deaths due to fireworks during the pandemic. According to a Consumer Product Safety Commission report, at least 18 people died in 2020 compared to 12 in 2019. 15,600 people were treated in the ER after a fireworks accident, up from 10,000 the year before. Many of the municipalities around the country had canceled their public fireworks displays, and it may have been that consumers took their own celebrations into their backyards and into their own hands. Officials say most injuries occurred around the 4th of July. Eight of those 18 deaths were to someone who had been using alcohol or drugs. You need to be very careful when you're using fireworks. Experts also warn never let children use fireworks, including sparklers, which burn at 2,000 degrees. Never try to relight or pick up a firework that's not working, and keep a hose or bucket of water nearby. This happened to me for a reason. Michael has had 16 surgeries to try and rebuild his hands. If we can prevent one person uh, from getting hurt or losing their life, what I've been through is well worth it. His hope is others hear his story and stay safe. Leah Lando, News 8. Leah, thank you. And the report shows firecrackers cause the most trips to the ER, followed by sparklers. For a full list of safe and fun fireworks shows around the Rochester area this weekend, you can head to rochesterfirst.com.